resistor connected across a battery of EMF E then the current through the circuit I will be equal to applied EMF by resistance since EMF is constant the current is also constant in this circuit what if you connect this resistor across not a battery but alternating EMF alternating EMF E is E naught sin omega t so this E is called instantaneous EMF because with respect to time this value keeps on changing because it is changing current through the circuit is also changing so in this case current is equal to applied EMF by resistance so instantaneous current means current at any instant equal to instantaneous EMF by R that is E naught sin omega t by R in other words I is equal to E naught by R into sin omega t what is the maximum value of i the maximum value of i is when sin theta is 90 sin theta is sin 90 that means this maximum value is 1 so that i max is equal to e naught by r that one we call it i naught so substituting here so the current equal to i naught sin omega t so what we applied is emf which is e naught sin omega t across a resistor when we apply this emf that yields this much of current that is i naught sin omega t so emf is also varying as sin omega t current is also varying as sin omega t that means current and emf in only resistor circuit is in phase current and emf are in phase with each other phase with each other each other so how do we draw with respect to time how the graph varies suppose in the x-axis you take time y-axis you take instantaneous emf so how it will change suppose e equal to e naught sin omega t so it will vary like this so this value is equal to e naught and this value is equal to minus e naught but the current is i is equal to i naught sin omega t let us try to plot current also in the same because when sin omega t is 1 here also it is 1 so when e equal to e naught then i is also equal to i naught so by the time emf reaches maximum current also reaches maximum but its value is e naught by r that is why it will be less so when this reaches maximum this also reaches maximum in the opposite direction so the graph of current will be like this so here this is current and this one is emf so this value of current is i naught which is given by the relation e naught by r so this one is equal to minus i naught so the idea is uh, here is when emf reaches e naught current reaches i naught when emf becomes zero current becomes zero when current i mean emf becomes minus e naught current becomes minus i naught so the maxima and minima of current and emf are obtained at the same time so that is why it's called what the these two are in phase with each other suppose you have a geometrical entity or uh, instantaneous current and emf if you are supposed to draw here suppose if you draw instantaneous emf at any instant e here suppose this value let's say this is theta this theta is given as omega t then this value equal to e naught sin omega t so this value is e naught okay so this is e so if you draw like this current is also in the same direction but its value is here i naught its current is i so if you draw emf in a particular direction current should also be in the same direction in the phasor diagram phasor diagram is a geometrical entity just to find out the angle between the current and emf suppose if emf you draw here instantaneous emf then the current should also be drawn in the same direction so e and i are in phase with each other in an ac circuit containing only resistor